What are urban myths? What are modern stories spread by word of mouth? Spirits, UMAs, aliens, paranormal incidents, unsolved cases, something. Most are unfounded rumors which grow as they're passed on. Many urban myths are rooted in harmless everyday gossip. But are they all truly? On today's episode of Bullshit or Not, Urban myths, like the size of Billy's hands, they're so normal-sized. I have photographic proof of how normal they are. Look in the IRL pictures section when Kratosh came to visit. Absolutely normal-sized. You can tell. Okay. Urban Myth Disillusion Center. This is a work of fiction. All the organizations, businesses, characters in this book are fictitious. Any resemblance to actually... Okay, bye, text. This game supports autosaving, and I kind of shown it at the bottom left corner when the game is saved. Please do not turn off the device for the close of the game. Okay, bye, text. Oh, no. Why now? Uh, bye, text. D There's something here. Height is on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Three days ago. Whoa! That's the fucking ghost! Anomaly checkup, Urban Myth Dissolution Center. Is this the place? Hello? I'm looking for the Urban Myth Dissolution Center. Huh? business call. I've always seen weird things, ever since I was born. I was hoping they might be able to help. Center's down that elevator, four floors deep. I hope they can fix me here. What's the uh, agency that uh, Regan runs in uh, Mob Psycho? I don't remember what it's called. Um, hello? Ah. Oh, I see. You saw our poster while shopping. God, this text goes away way too fast, game. And you have a problem you want solved as soon as possible? Why, yes, but how did you... Ah! Oh! Your gaze is focused somewhere just behind me. You see it, don't you? Yeah, I like this art style, too. That's why we're playing it. Miss Azami Fuka... Uh, Fukurai. That's me, but how do you know my... I too happen to see as you do. Thanks to this strange power. Who am I, you wonder? Ayumu Magariya, center director. First, let us identify the text. Identify? These might... these might help clear things up. Welcome to the Urban Myth Dissolution Center. Oh my god! Yeah, really great intro here. I like it. Very interesting. Just the text goes too fast. Imagine being able to read the story that they're telling, yeah. But... what are these glasses? The ghost behind you suddenly looks a lot more clear. As I said, they help you focus. Now, Mrs. Ami, 
about the things that you're seeing. They're different from ghosts, as in spirits of deceased individuals. Th th they're not ghosts? Indeed. You might call it clairvoyance. Vestiges of persons and objects that existed are retained everywhere. You're probably visualizing them in some way. I, I see? Simply put, you can see people and things that were there before. But, but seeing them better isn't really helping. Is it really helping? You see them in focus by wearing these special glasses. This proves that your power is indeed clairvoyance. Um... And you could perhaps help me deal with this clairvoyance? We could indeed. Here at the Urban Myth Dissolution Center... We work as a detective agency for anomalies, which handle cases beyond capabilities of regular law enforcement. Upon official request, we could certainly support you in figuring out your clairvoyance. Th then please do something about these things I'm seeing. All in due time. Let's get you in a seat first so you can relax a bit. All right. Slowing down, sitting down. Oh, of course. Huh? What just happened? That chair is said to bring death to those who sit in it. Oh! Oh! Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. That's the death chair. Sorry. That's great, thanks! A terrible curse indeed. What? Oh, God! Cursed chair! <laughs> I had placed it there for research. How careless of me. So, so what happens now? You sat in it, so you either figure things out or just die. Let us undo the curse that just hit you. I yes, please. For future reference, you may want to label that death chair. Yeah, maybe. I believe I kept a research file on this chair somewhere. What's up, Playbinage? How you doing? With my limited mobility, it may take too long for me to get to it. Huh? We're looking for a research file? Then I won't die, right? I'll look for it, and I'll find it. Oh. I'm powerless to assist you, as you can see. But the file should be in this very room. You you could help. You're just being an asshole. <laughs> I'm just a... I'm just a poor little guy stuck in this wheelchair, unable to help you find a file that I filed away myself, and I know exactly where it is. Well, that's just too bad. <laughs> Let me know when you find it. Understood. File coming right up. To be fair, everyone who sat in the death chair will statistically end up dying. It's true. It's in the top row and he has a wheelchair. There's no way it's in the top row. Look at the chair. Look at it. Sit in it again. I thought this was here for guests. Why did I ever sit down in that thing? And why did it leave such a thing lying around anyway? For research purposes, duh. Hmm. No, 
idea what I'm even looking for. Hang on a second. Look for the file. Kunio Yanagita Kamagasu Shinobu Shigeru Folklore Studies. Am I pronouncing these names right? I am not. What's this? Hmm. No idea what I'm even looking for. Okay. I'm fairly close. Okay, great. The Legacy of Miss Ripper. How not to meet your doppelganger. Great. Hmm. Warmer at least? Oh, this book has a mark on it. The Dangers of Snake Venom. Hematoxins from venomous snakes break down proteins. This can cause necrosis in muscle tissue and may warrant special attention. Way too complicated for me. Yeah, I got your play, Benash. But it's unrelated to urban myths. Why is this book even here? Is this the medical section? Depression, oppression, and liberation. Caring for schizophrenia. Sounds complicated. Maybe somewhere else? Shaping your happiness. Surefire tips for building rapport. Occult great reset. All sorts of books here, but I'm not finding the research file anywhere. I should check with the director. Check with the director. He's got it in his fucking desk or some bullshit. Can't find it. We're dead. The bookshelves are full of occultish titles, but I can't seem to find the file. I see. In that case... I suggest that you put those glasses I handed you on earlier and try again. Um, but when I wore those glasses earlier, I kind of saw ghosts even more than before. It's unfortunate that I no longer remember where I placed the file. I suppose I'll have to try some searching myself. Let's hope we won't be too late. Wait, what happens to me if we are too late? I'll put on the glasses and I'll, with the file, and I'll find the file with the clairvoyance and all that. Can you slap him? I wish. director son? Yes. Am I looking pale? I'm feeling kind of queasy. Considering this room is rather dark, you look healthily pale. Okay. Put on the glasses. Welcome Play to Minash. Live. With the 11 months. Don't leave any love lying around. Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. Pretty please. Pretty please. This book is probably under the leg of a death chair. Because it was wobbly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't forget, if you upgrade your subscription to a Tier 3 subscription, then for the Next Fest only, you get an FTL run dedicated to you after we get done with Next Fest. So if you want to do that, that is a thing that's available for you during Next Fest. Uh, or gifting a Tier 3 sub accounts as well. Oh my god, it's a spooky ghost! Ah! I'm definitely seeing this. This place has ghosts too, or rather, people and things that were here before or something. They used to be vague shapes, but now I see them much more clearly. I'm shaking, but I might find something near that shadow, right? Right? Now or never. Also, every tier three gets a free ride in the death chair. Whee! There's a flickery ghost touching one of the books. Some papers are stuck inside. Could this be the research file? I should show it to the director. Uh, I know I saw a ghost behind the director. Wearing these glasses makes me see it even more clearly. I'm having trouble talking to him with these glasses on. I should take off the glasses when I need to talk. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, he doesn't look creepy at all reading that file.
Billy can talk and wear glasses. He's talented. Yeah, that's just how talented I am. My glasses are wear glasses. They turn into glasses in a full moon. Your power is indeed similar to mine. You have the power to see it all. Case wrapped. So I'm saved now? How do you undo the curse? I don't know. Huh? Oh, fuck. Where did I get him? Wear glasses store. The file didn't mention anything about uncursing, only that those afflicted by the curse would all suffer from their lower body, from lower body necrosis. Oh, great. Necrosis? What's that? Simply put, they rot away. Like, just the lower body, though. Like, your feet and legs, this, they're gonna be, they're gonna rot away. Find a clue. A death-inducing curse. How could I, what should I even do? You sat down in the chair. Did you feel anything when you did? What I felt? I felt a jab or something, I think. I see. That might warrant another look at the chair itself. You may find clues as to the nature of the curse. I'll go check. Gotta keep trying. Examine that chair. I felt a jab when I sat down. This chair is old. Some parts have splinters sticking out. Then one of these jabbed me when I sat down. I should mention this to the director, too. I love how pro Deather X is now has a sense of responsibility for a random person sitting in the death chair. No, I don't think he... I, I think... I don't, I don't think he has any sense of responsibility. You, oh, you mean you mean no. You just mistyped. That must be it. Okay. Never mind. I, I think he just knows that it's probably not a cursed chair. Or he knows exactly what to do. He's just being an ass. He's being an anime antagonist. Or an anime anti-hero. Or whatever. Possibly. When I sat in the chair, I felt a jab in my behind. Though it's an old chair, so it probably is just a splinter or something. I see. But that's not really worth mentioning, is it? Sorry. Will I die from this curse? No need for such distress. Why not savor this rare moment? How could I possibly... Mrs. Ami, let's try to think of a hypothesis. Hypothesis? He's an anime anime man. Yeah, that's right. Randomly collected information is rarely of substantial merit in itself. What kind of information have you gathered? Well, let me see. Previously, cursed people rotted away from their lower bodies. I was jabbed in the bum by a splinter. Uh, I honestly have no clue. Compare potential explanations from those of two pieces of from those two pieces of information, and focus on the most likely possibility. It's all right. You can do this. Compare possibilities from the collected information. Focus on one. Not sure I understand, but I'll give it a thought. How do we undo the curse? Let's think things think things over for a bit. Jab by a splinter. Let me offer you a hint to get you started. Director? According to my research, victims who sat in the chair all rotted away from their lower bodies. Which means... People who sit down are cursed and their bodies start rotting. Yes, however, you mentioned feeling something when you sat down. 
When I sat, I felt a jab, like from a splinter. That pain was real. Next, choose from the most likely explanation from among the possibilities. We need to reach a hypothesis. Under understood. Maybe there's a poisoned trap that jabs you with a needle, injecting a necrotic poison. Maybe. Mad Libs? Awesome. Yeah. Maybe there's a poison trap that jabs you with a needle. Maybe there's a poison trap that jabs you with a needle, injecting a necrotic poison. That might mean if everyone rots away in the same way, maybe it's poison. And maybe that pain I felt was a needle or something. I see. It seems you have a viable hypothesis. Find a clue with the chair's seats. Maybe there's something hidden in the seat of the chair. Will I be okay now then? Once you have a hypothesis, you need to test that theory. If your hypothesis is correct, the chair should house some kind of mechanism. I'll check right now. Take a look at that chair. Feel it up. Hmm. Hey, there's a lid-like thing under the seat part. If there's a clue to what the poison is, we could find an antidote. Ah, it's not coming off. There we go. Oh my god. This chair is just all needles. Miss Azami. I did it, Director. Now we find out what the poison is and... This is rather inconvenient. Although the cursed chair itself is real, the poison actually no longer has any effect. What? To think you would outright demolish it. Wait, you knew this all along? I thought I was going to die from that poison. Yet now, your demolishing the chair has changed things rather drastically. Imagine that a visitor destroying the cursed chair. Imagine that, a, a visitor destroying the cursed chair. Um, We'll need you to cover the repair bill. What? I'm so sorry. Oh my god. We had borrowed it for studying. We need to, we'll need to restore it. The fee should be about around 10 million yen. Oh my god. Wait, that's total- you said 10 million? I do admit being careless on our end. So, how about your earlier request? How about you work for us as an investigator and cover the fees of your wages? Bruh. <laughs> but I- uh, please! Once the repairs are covered, we can start working on those troubles of yours. T -t -t 10 million yen? Your special power clairvoyance will benefit our, our investigations. We'll make sure to account for that in your wages. Please guide the Urban Myth Dissolution Center's investigation with your clairvoyance. But, but there's no way I can do that. I'll just go now. Phone number 070-X400-X404, Inugami University, Kapsai, third year. Street address. No, 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 no. That's my phone number. Why do you know about uni? I told you I have the power of vision myself. I can find you at any time and collect your debt. This is unreal. Yet I prefer welcoming you in rather than pressuring you. Oh, my. I'm really sorry for the damage. I'll do what I can. Business insurance, bub. Look it up. Bye. Fucking later, nerd. Why is this happening? Also, you might want to use this. Hmm? A journal? Yes, for keeping notes on your investigations. Go on, take a look. Azami Fugari. Fugari. Fukurai. Is this the right page? Many incidents involve complex interpersonal relations. 
here you'll want to note down characteristics and relationships for the people you meet. This is work orientation already. Please try taking notes while we're at it. Okay, I'm gonna skip the dialogue just a smidge here. The director's characteristics. Some kind of power similar to mine. What is it? Clairvoyance. His vision, a power that shows him everything. Because of that power, I somehow ended up working up ended up working here. Vision allows Urban Myth Dissolution Center director to see everything from a distance. Okay. You have your journal now. How about we take a quick look? A quick break. Okay. Okay, we can, like, look at the log of dialogue. Great. That's, that's a lot. Way too fast. Way too fast. Oh, it's doing that. Like, it was doing that all right uh, by itself. One hour later, oh my god! And that's just a quick overview. You should now have a, the minimum required knowledge to be able to process urban myths. Some of it is seared into my memory like a passion in your eyes and voice. I'm glad to hear it. Wasn't she a uni student? Yeah. But now, not anymore. Now she's working for the Urban Myth Dissolution Center. Okay. Well, we can't put on our glasses out here. Hey. Th thank you for earlier. Let me introduce myself. I... Yeah, I'm not interested. Just hear, just heard from the boss, man. Azami Fukar Fukurai, yeah? Let me think. Zami. Sammy? Yasumi Tomaragi. Tomarigi. I go, I go by Jasmine. Yasumi? Jasmine? Get it? I don't get it. Yasumi, J Yasumi Jasmine, I guess. What? I, I understood, Jasmine. You're an on-site investigator for Urban Myths too. So that's all you... That's all you. I just drive you around, deal? Seriously? Director again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Stop the damage from an urban myth. Hmm. And I need to teach you how to do social media research as well. Why me? Okay, we're gonna... I want to see what any of the other mechanics are in terms of research and stuff. Goodbye, man in a suit. Goodbye, tall man. <sighs> this is not in my job description. S sorry? No, it's okay. Again, it's that boss man making others do all the work. Anyway, about this social media research business. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. So the reason we look up things is tracking rumors and such. Tracking rumors? Checking for rumors that hint at urban myths. Okay. I do I do wish that I could like force the dialogue forward faster. It's not that I'm not interested in the story, but I just want to like kind of get to the next mechanic so I understand a little bit more about the gameplay. Because, like, the visual novel part is is pretty good. And I really like the art quite a bit. This uh, anime pixely style is really cool. 
guys, some weird dude showed up at Mio's place and tried to attack her. We called the police, but they were not really not helping much. Huh, it's blowing up. I wonder why this is trending so much. That's also weird that, like, the color isn't consistent between characters. I think I feel like every character should have, like, a color associated with the, their name. Because, like, before, Azami was um, uh, red, and now Jasmine is red. So I don't, I don't know why that's the case. Odachi of Bramble was a new ruler as a new apprentice. This author is not sure if we should be concerned considering how we know nothing about this stranger. Terrifying anomaly appears. Oh my god, I was scared, but I managed to snap a pick. Jasmine, you should look at this. Huh, would you look at that? Is that a ghost? No idea. Boss man would be thrilled if it is. Okay. Who needs useless police? They don't even understand what it's like to be a victim at all. I have also been treated horribly by police before. I wish they would be more passionate about their work. Are you okay? You should call the authorities. The police are just there to put on a show. They're completely useless. Is that a guy? That's horrible. This is just an influencer Ico desperately chasing some clout. A false report? Stop wasting police resources. I can't unsee this billboard in the window. Okay. <laughs> Why is this trending? Calling the police just so you can go viral by calling them useless? People who do this stuff in the name of entertainment are insane. You're trending, LMAO. You're mocking the police under false pretenses. Is the police you're calling useless? What is even entertaining about this? You were raised in a barn? Okay. Don't think you can get the info out of me that easily. I would never tell where Mio's place is. Oh no, my hand slipped. LOL, LOL. Oh my god. People are doxing people out here. Could it be? You know her? She might be someone I know. Oh, hey! What? Cut out the sudden screams. Yeah, like, good animation uh, on, like, this stuff. Some of the letters seem to be moving, though I can't see clearly. Maybe I should look through the glasses. Oh my god, we can look through the glasses. What's going on? The letters are popping out. Huh, say what? The letters! Meal's place are popping out of the screen. No idea what you mean. Is it because you want to search for Mio's place? Searching, yes. Good idea. See the search box near the top? Pick the search terms there. Yes. Recap time. Search around for keywords. Okay. And then search them. Results found. Hashtag doxed. Hashtag Shin Nakamachi. Hashtag Mio, hashtag home. Oh no, I think this really is Mio's place. So it is your friends. I think so. I think so is not good enough to go on. You're... Letters come to life. Nope, nothing happening. No search keywords hidden. Search keywords here. Okay. Wait. Okay, never mind. 
Oh, I see. I could put glasses. Okay, got it. I have to select the individual line and then put on the glasses. I thought that it like just covered the whole thing and like I could put the glasses on and then scroll, but that's not how it works apparently. Too many people who don't realize this is just some rumor or criminal case. Okay. Uncle Tiny. Who the fuck is Uncle Tiny? You don't know about Uncle Tiny? I don't know about Uncle Tiny. No. The one of the photos, Uncle Tiny? Don't think so, since that one doesn't look too tiny. I'll show you the center's files later. Okay. The Harbinger of Doom! Demons from the depths of hell are marching here on Earth. The end of humanity is nigh. This is Plasma. Plasma can explain everything. There is nothing to be afraid of. Hashtag Nakamachi University. Hashtag Physics Department. Hashtag Plasma. How unfortunate. If only I had given them a reading, I could have warned them. It re this does remind me a bit of like Mob Psycho because it seems to me if I, I remember correctly in uh, in Mob Psycho like they frequently will like mention like the comment section of like videos and and forums and stuff like that and like talk about what people are talking about. Robe Lobe wasn't that the woman who keeps showing up in AI pics? Yeah, Mob Psycho 100 is really good. It's swamp gas. Brand new urban myth right there. That's her name. The lady's name was Loeb? Loeb Robe? Robe Robe? Loeb Loeb? All right. There's an apartment name. This definitely is my friend's place. I mean, very first case since all involves someone you know. Not the luckiest recruit in town, are you? The director told me I'd be good for this case. That's why he assigned me to her. Okay. Complete social media research. Yeah! This is terrible. She's my friend. So we're heading to your friend's place, huh? Lead the way. All right. Okay.
Oh my god, there's a spooky fucking ghost. The fuck is that? A ghost! But, but according to the director, my power is clairvoyance and I'm seeing what happened in the past. So this isn't a ghost, not a ghost. How could it not be a ghost? Things all freaky and shit. The director would be like, uh, yeah, that's actually a ghost. So seeing something that it definitely was here? But closer. Whoa! It's terrible. I feel like the shadow's watching me. Need to take a closer look. Shadow looks human. It's wearing something like a hoodie. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I think this is pretty nice. Visual novel paranormal investigation game. Uh, I think that could be an interesting playthrough. Yeah, uh, it could be, could be. Um, uh, very interesting pixel anime art style um play as uh, him, uh not himiko fucking tell us your character's name <laughs> Azumi, Azami, Azami. Not Azumi, Azami. Yeah, like the dialogue is uh is fine. I it's not, it's like okay. It's not really great for me personally, but like it's it's all right. It kind of drags on a bit, but I mean like that's kind of like the tendency with visual novels, you know, you kind of want to have a lot of dialogue. Um Uh, need investigation mechanics and ad lib style. Um, uh, like the, like the, like assumptions that you make. The uh, um, kind of, kind of reminds me a little bit of like, um. Curse of the Golden Idol, or Case of the Golden Idol. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little slow. I, I just wish that you could like skip the dialogue a bit. Um, I'll say writing is fine, a little slow. Cause it's like so much of it is like a zombie just being like, uh, fish out of water kind of a thing, you know? And, uh, so it's like people say something and a zombie reacts over the top and then they keep explaining like that. That's just like, it happens a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's a, the director is very long winded. Uh, the art the art makes me feel like it's a little above average, but I think it being a visual novel, it's kind of like a three. Uh, but maybe it's a four. I don't know. 
It's I I I like it. I might uh, we might play that uh, later. I really like in like paranormal investigation style of thing. I, I like especially if it's gonna be maybe a bit more involving um like japanese folklore kind of stuff because i think those kind of like yokai uh type uh tales are uh a little bit uh interesting and stuff like that it's like one of the reasons i like mushishi so much because it kind of has a bit of that uh kind of vibe to it but uh yeah i recommend it for sure i think that's pretty cool